On this Debaco University video, I'm going to go over whether we should be using land race or heirlooms when we're describing cannabis. So a lot of times for cannabis, land race is used, and for tomatoes, heirlooms is used. But what should we be using for cannabis? What's the correct term to be using? We'll answer that here in this video. All right, so properly naming plants when we're looking at land race. Land races of crops are most closely aligned with heirlooms, being that they are naturally occurring. They are indigenous to certain regions and developed their characteristics in response to the growing conditions of that area. Land race plant species are relatively rare because many have been um, supplemented to breed crops and have died out due to the changing climate and also through human intervention. Contrast, when we're looking at properly naming heirlooms, this had typically done with, uh, or thought of to be done with tomatoes. Heirlooms are open pollinated plants that have been passed down from generation to generation. They are living artifacts and living history exhibits, and they're considered a reservoir for genetic diversity. Because they're open pollinated, uh, these cultivars uh, mean that the plants grown from seed will be true to type and will resemble the plant from which it comes from. Some plants, however, can cross-pollinate and therefore careful practices must prevent cross-pollination to maintain those particular varieties. That's a breakdown between what a true land race is and what the definition of an heirloom is. Now we're looking at the heirloom classification. So there are some confusion as to how old a variety must be to be classified truly as an heirloom. Some believe that any variety grown before 1951, when the first hybrids became available, is an heirloom. However, many heirlooms are 100 to 150 years old or even much older than this. In regards to vegetables, uh, seed saving gardeners have kept their heirloom varieties alive, um, as has the Seed Savers Exchange in Iowa there, where they're kind of reserving those seeds and kind of keeping that um, preserved for genetic um, use potentially in the, the future as a reservoir. So how do we go about naming a hybrid? As you know, just another idea, we heard land race, heirlooms, what about hybrids I often get asked? A hybrid is a result of pollinating one specific variety of a class of plants with the pollen of another genetically different variety of that same class. While the hybrid can occur by chance, within the seed industry, hybrids are a result of crossbreeding of carefully chosen parent plants that produce offspring or seeds that will have special characteristics. And a lot of genetics that go behind this and a lot of looking at um, kind of different family trees and kind of looking at what the goal is to ultimately develop in a plant. By controlling the pollination process, this results in the offspring having genetic characteristics from both parents. The offspring or seeds of this cross is called an F1 hybrid and F1 stands for first finale. The seeds from this cross will produce plants that are very uniform in plant habit and carry a combination of traits from both parent plants, and hopefully those both traits that are carried over are both considered to be advantageous in that resulting offspring. So land race versus heirlooms, looking at kind of the direct comparison here. Land races are wild uh, cannabis strains that grow throughout the world free of contact with humans, so they retain their genetics and characteristics specific for that environment in which they're growing in. Heirlooms are land races grown in a non-native environment. That's a key character, key, distinguishing characteristic there. Heirloom strains have not been genetically crossed or pollinated in a specific way, but have uh, been brought from their place of origin and cultivated by humans in a new environment. So this same plant grown out here in the wild because they're in a land race, you move that to a different growing location, extreme though, in an indoor environment, that would then classify that then technically as an heirloom. So why does heirloom need to be used more, particularly in regards to cannabis production? If you're growing a plant outside of the postulated domestic area, you are growing an heirloom or hybrid and not a land race. It's only a land race if it's being grown in its native geographic environment. So if you're moving that plant from wherever it was naturally grown to any other location, uh, you're really not growing a land race, you're technically growing an heirloom. Again, this is why that needs to be used a little bit more um, kind of defined uh, by growers, the cannabis industry in particular. So the land race seed uh, kind of misconception, while growers want to have the original land race variety, if you're growing it out of the native area, then you're growing an heirloom. Land race requires both the seed or the clone or plant material and the location. Heirlooms just need the seed or the clone or plant material. So you see the best land race seeds and land 
race cannabis strains of Asia? Well, they're taking them out of Asia or even out of the area within Asia that they're being grown. Well, we need to be using the term heirloom, which I know is going to be a change uh, for a lot of people, but that's the true scientific um, reasoning uh, for that change. And I know it's a hard concept to get across but here at Debaca University. The goal here is to provide you with the true scientific answer, even though it may not be what's popular or currently accepted in the industry.